Hey guys, we're back, and we're doing red now. And we're going to start with uh, this is the first red level one. This is uh, Vivio, optimistic regardless. It's a 1045. She's all the characters seem to have the melee trait for whatever reason. Like, I understand why, but. You know. 1045. When this is placed from hand to stage against X power, X is 500 times the number of your melee characters. When this attacks, if you have practicing with just the two of them in the climax zone, we will top card your deck. It is a stock soul. Nice. It is a... uh, if it is a melee or character or the event Sacred Heart, put it in your hand. Otherwise, put it back where it was. Hello, witch. Yeah, I mean, I actually don't dislike the top check, like, add to hand effects. You just need to have a good discard really? out. I, I think they're kind of... Well, alright, so, so you need one of two things, right? You need a good discard out, or you need to be playing, like, a full set of eight, like, plusing climaxes to get super value out of it. I mean, you also... It also has to be the best combo you could run. But, like... Like, if it, you have a yeah, better it does combo, have to... you're not running this. Sure. But it's like, you know, at least for, like, if I'm playing an animal, right? And you see, I went to animal first. Don't worry. I'll fulfill my meme quote in a moment. But, like, at least if you're playing, like, two-lover animal, right? Like, you have Nazusa effect. So it lets you turn your raw pluses into anything else. Although that uh, that effect, that, cool. that card was Top bad. Four cards of your deck, yeah. That card was bad until they got a specific back row because it just didn't have enough power to do anything. But if you look at, like, GST, which I think is probably the most heinous version of this effect still, that just, that just gets randomly to 8,500 power. Right, but like yeah. that deck also runs eight plus in climaxes, so no matter what you hit, you're plusing one. In a deck this that I don't good. think that makes it. Yeah. That doesn't change just, it very much. It's not this very is, good. Yeah, this is you can calculate how many pluses you'll get with certainty in those decks, but I don't think that's super valuable. It is nice, I don't know about valuable. The thing about this card is its abilities are. So it's the same with witch. Like if you want to play multiple witches. Some of them are going to be weak. Like, that's just how it is. It's not selective. This one's slightly more selective because you get to get an event if that's something you want to get. I mean, it's equally You know what's sad about this card? This card mm -hmm. is as powerful as Einhard is. Yeah. When you play the clan. So, I mean, like... The last one is. The last one is. The earlier ones won't be. Oh, yeah, they're weaker. <laughs> it's, it's even worse. Like, uh, this combo is just not good enough. In the My deck. least favorite thing about this card... Is that the Vivio deck is based around using counters? This is a yeah. one zero four five. It's, it's absolute garbage. Yeah, not very flavorful. This is like niche. It is still a plus in combo. It's not a plus in combo you want to play. And I don't even think the Vivio deck has an interest in this outside of like maybe one lane getting a random plus. Very You have to run it in Vivio deck though. That's... I mean, that's that's your um, territory, not mine. <laughs> I mean, how many waifu decks would kill to have a level 1 climax combo that pluses you? Uh, a lot of them, but... Um, all those kids in Africa would love to have a level 1 oh climax combo. Oh my god. Combo. We're not about the waifu decks here, man. I'm still giving it a playable. I don't think these think effects is... are that bad. Mm -hmm. It just... Ugh. Ugh. Uh, where was it? Okay. Let's go. Next card. Vivio, eyes better than everyone else. It's a 3 2 9k. Come and play heal. Good. When up to once a turn, when you use a startup ability, this gains X power, where X is 500 times the number of your other melee characters. So this is hopefully 2k whenever you use a startup. And when this attacks, if Axel Smash Infinity is in the climax zone, it's a gate, this gains 1 5 power and the following ability. When the character opposite this attacks, you may deal one damage to your opponent. This ability lasts um, until the end of your opponent's next turn. So does the power. Yes. Yes. Uh, okay, so... Reinhardt Fury. Not Einhardt, Reinhardt. An opponent at 3-3 three, three is much easier to kill than an opponent at 3-0. Yes. This is part of that theory. So... When you use this climax, if you have, let's just, for, for argument's sake, you've got triple video, and now your opponent, whenever they attack, they have to probably take one damage. 
And unless yep. they're playing something really old and stupid, like it'll be Starduster or something like well, that. Well, if they're well, playing wait, wait, wait. If, if they're, if they're, if they're playing Star Wars, they don't get burned at all. Oh, boy. Okay, if you're playing Star Wars <laughs> with that Vader, your Vader's going to die, but you're not going to get burned. Well, no, no, no. Or Luke. Theory, right? Luke also does, has the anti-burn effect on it. Yeah, but you're not playing your good Vader, then. You're not killing <laughs> You just anti damage yourself to attacks. Uh, nice. I'm not saying these are good ideas. I'm saying these are ideas. This I got to add a, I, I got to add a third meme deck to my repertoire, dude. You get to like burn twice against restanders, which is, which is cool. Yeah, like you fulfilled this, and if you like, say you're playing against Triad Primus. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the nice thing is it gets to keep the effect even if it gets reversed against restanders, which is relevant, I guess. Yeah, there'll be three six instead of three three. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I do know. like the fact. I like. I do think this is a reasonable effect, but you need something to follow it up with, and it's not immediately obvious what you have to follow up with. In my opinion, I uh... don't think there's anything you can really do to follow it up unless you're playing the three three burn five event. But that does not strike me as what you want to be doing. That card doesn't even work with this card. It only gives that ability to. A specific card. Oh, jeez. Do they all have cats? No. Do they all have I mean, mascot-like animals? Like... No, 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 no. The cat is like the way they, the thing they use to transform. It's kind of weird. What? Uh, the other people... It's like they're like symbol of power or something. I don't know, dude. Like, this the... Is... No. The video does not use... What does that remind me of? What is that terrible, terrible manga light novel anime <laughs> that involved the dude who turned into a girl and they all have the freaking stuffed animals? Humph. That one. That's how stupid uh, this sounds to me. Like <laughs> oh, like, oh, come on. Oh, what? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, this is oh. even a, This is even like a fighting thing, right? Uh, <laughs> like a contest yeah, between this... grills? Lollies beating the crap out of each other, yeah. Oh my god. Is this, is this secret, 18 years old. Is this that's, secretly that's a Comfer cool. ripoff? It Isn't this be. older than Comfer? I don't know and I don't care. <laughs> I think Nanoha is older than Comfer. Nanoha is, I don't but know. But like, what about strength. Vivid Strike? Uh, you mean Vivid? Because it's... Well, sure. I don't. It's really... like it's it's like a spinoff of Vivid. Yeah, no, no, so... Vivid Strike. But Vivid Strike. No, but Vivid Strike is a is a spinoff of Vivid. So... Yeah, but but, but sure, Vivid but Strike is what's copying. They Comfort. beat each other up in Vivid too. But did they? Do they have like little okay. mascot animals that apparently store their power? Uh, some of them do. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's 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 move on from this. Uh, the video. God damn it! God damn it Wolf. Reasonable card, I think. It's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's playable. Yeah. Don't if you're gonna take anything away from this set review, it is. Don't watch Comfer. <laughs> you have you have better things to be doing. Oh my like god, though! Like, strike. Th this is a connection that I got to make because someone made some comments about the mascot animals. Nice. All right, Mira, critical strike, three two nine five. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may choose a melee character or star saber in your waiting room and return it to your hand. <laughs> okay. Star saber is a 3-3 burn 5 event. <laughs> when your climax is placed to climax zone, this gains 1-5 for the turn. And climax combo, if you have sword drawing in the climax zone, you may deal 1 damage to your opponent. So I guess this is the follow-up. Sword drawing is a stock soul. So you just play... This is two not the level three climaxes. Come on. I don't know, man. That sounds you terrible. Follow, there's, there's just a burn counter, and then you just attack with vanilla cards. It's just a, the video is just a waifu deck card, okay? I think this is better. This just burns on attack and replaces itself. Uh, I mean, I like I like being able to stop my opponent three three. I think the heal is more valuable, but that would I. I don't mind playing 3-2, like, slightly less than vanilla heals. No. It actually gets, like, kind of large when you use support, like, startups and backups on it. 
Like, that I think Door is a better trigger. I'm, I like not, the I'm not denying that Door is a better trigger, trigger, but I think I, I value the on attack burn more than I value the when my opponent attack burns. Uh, I I like the VVO better. And I do like that, I don't know, you can high roll it. I always appreciate the ability to high roll. <laughs> <laughs> right, because the, because the burn five is an actual number, right? Oh, uh, the burn five, yeah. I mean, if it sticks, you win. But, like, in reality, it just, like, hits a climax and you move on with your life. And depending on what you know I mean, about your it, opponent's it, compression, that could be enough to get you game. I mean, you're probably not salvaging the event, because oh, the it. event... I, 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 I mean, imagine this would probably salvage just been another climax comp. Well, I, I think in reality, you're probably just salvaging itself twice and then getting whatever, then playing slamming the climax and hitting them three times. But, like, that seems fine. That seems perfectly reasonable to me. Like, I think it's more conducive to building a board state, and if you're not running the level one combo in red, which you shouldn't, probably, and you're running some other combo, like, this is a way easier thing to set up if you're doing other shenanigans besides plussing and hand fixing at level one. You just need this and, like, two copies in the waiting room. That's fine. That's easy. That's fair. Like, it, this is really easy to set up. Like, that's that's the main thing. I mean, like, is the video, like, significantly harder? The video set? requires so. you to have the three in your hand. The mirror requires you to have this in your hand. And you can set it up that way. Yeah, but it's not that hard. These are modern decks. I'm not saying it's hard. I'm just saying, like, it lets you play way looser at other phases of the game and lets you use those pluses to do things besides setting up your end game. You don't really have much else to do aside from set up your end game. Well, then that's no embarrassing. Offense. Oh, so you have, like, events that kind of get all the counters you ever want from your waiting room anyway, so it's that as well. But again, I just appreciate, like, being able to toolbox out a little bit more by not having to just, like, sit on level threes. I mean, if you've got the toolbox in the first place, then you probably can just get level threes when you need to. But like, but, um, this effect makes it a lot easier just to set up a level three board if you have the stock. Yeah, I don't disagree that um being having the come in place salvage effect means you can get three of this pretty easily. You still need the climax. That's going to be the bottleneck for both of these cards. I mean, I'm, I, it's a it's a wash on both ends. That's the only reason why I wasn't bringing it up. I, I think that Vivio's effect is stronger. Um, I think that Meteor this climax is, is like, stock soul. Really uh, this it's one's stock soul. soul yeah, one. yeah. It's a little bit unfortunate, but. Anyway, yeah. this card is still playable for whatever reason. I don't know yeah. why this girl's got housework trait. I assume it's because she cooks. She's her yes, she cooks. Wow, that is her. That is her endearing. That, endearing that is, character. is that her defining character trait? Apparently, uh, I don't want to say defining, but uh, I I, I really feel like you're implying I, yes. She, she doesn't. Okay, all she does in the anime is cook a meal for the protagonist and then lose like a big fight. So yes. How did, wow. she get a, how did she get a what? double off? Why did she get a double off? Uh, I think she's... Uh, I think she's actually one of the main characters... She's one of the more notable characters from Vivid. I don't know why she got a double R in Vivid Strike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she cooks! <laughs> oh my Sexist. god. Anyway, let's just move on. We spent way too much time on this damned card. Uh, Vivio, promise passed on. It's a 001k. When Red is this not a natural trait? eye color. No, it's not. And her, she has the odd eye trait, which is not new, but it's, no. it's there. Uh, when is this place from hand to stage? Mill 2. If there was a climax among them, put the top card of your opponent's deck in the waiting room. If you do, put a card from your opponent's waiting room on top of their deck. Uh, and then it's a runner. It's oh, a it's runner! A runner. Nice. Ooh. Extra value. I mean, this is way easier to kill if your so, opponent can try field level zero, though. It dies to mow, like, every Ricky in the what? game. I mean, there's only, like, two decks in the game three. There's only, there are very few decks in the game that can try field turn two. Turn one going second, though. Plus, you can meme with your zero zero counter. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, that, those are both cards you run, though. Just, just putting it out there. I'm not um, saying necessarily you won't, but... <laughs> Now, this card is really solid because one, it's your best free mill, and two, it is a runner. So, uh, it's a good card by Yeah. I mean, it lost a yes. thousand power for that first effect, which is mildly unfortunate because you can't use it to, like, 
just kill some of the things on your opponent's board, but whatever. Mm -hmm. It's still good. It'll sometimes kill stuff, but yeah. Uh, at a thousand power, you probably need a back well, row. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm saying you yeah. run a back row that you run at four. I'm not that saying... That will pump it 15. Yeah, which means you can kill things on offense, which is fine. I mean, that's desirable, right? You don't want the runner to kill things on defense. Like, if they have to try field at some point, you don't want the runner to, like, give them a lane to crash. So, like... It's fine. So, like, they... You don't want them to deny you reverse targets for your combo. It's just not... It's it, Look, it's a runner. That's what matters. Yes. And you've a got runner. a non-reverse combo, and you've got a back row that taps to give 1-5. So this is sometimes a 2-5 attacker that kills their Azusa. And and this way, like, this um, discourages their runner from running in front of you. And that's what's important. It also um, sometimes just gets, like, free damage. <laughs> occasionally. Yeah. All right. Good card. Next card, Mirror or Rinaldi, um, the cooking girl. Uh, when it's like, up to one's turn, when you use a startup ability, give a character 500 power for the turn, and pay one tap this to salvage Brainstorm. Salvage for melee characters only. Uh, if you're not playing Gold Wars, I imagine this is the next best Brainstorm? Yes. Uh, uh, yes, it would have to be. There's a draw Brainstorm or something, right? Or is it, uh, I, I in the TD, I think, yeah. No, wait, there's than... a draw Brainstorm. Oh, it's it's, um, it's yeah. in blue. No, it's a, it's a blue, blue, yeah. It's a blue. This is definitely draw better than a draw brainstorm, so there you have it. We'll get to it anyway. This card plays into the red deck's counter theme, where you want to be playing counters. This makes all your counters slightly better. Yeah, probably uh, is making good. Making them all 2-5 is good. Making them all 3k counters is even better. Yeah, it's 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 a solid card. It's a brainstorm at any rate. So um, I could even see this playing in other decks if you really didn't... if you aren't playing the 8-bar version. Uh, so yeah, this is either playable plus or good minus, depending on whether or not you want it in your deck. Yeah. Yep. Next card, Corona, straight Strike Training. It is a one level one bomb, and when it's placed from hand to stage, you may ditch a Climax from your hand. If you do, add a melee character from Waiting Room to hand. So, uh, this is the other, other, other way to fix your hand in the 8-bar deck, and just in the red deck in general. So. I mean, it's it's a free Climax out, and it's a level one bomb. These are generally pretty playable. It's playable, it's not like broken, yeah, but it's fine. I guess you can yeah. keep playing them if you want to keep Phantom out of your meta. I've, <laughs> I've slowly come down on level 1 bombs, but they have their value. Who still plays uh, Phantom? That's what <laughs> one does, because people play Corona Strike Training. Whatever. Now, back <laughs> to good at cooking, I guess. Uh, yeah, she's... Oh, wow, that's literally the name she's, of the car. She, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, one zero, it's an Ellie clone. Yeah, again, this is this is somewhat valuable because this is a counter orientated deck. Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't be like maxing this first, but maybe it's you do. Fine. It's playable. It's fine. It's playable. Yeah. Yeah. Next card. This I think is what your one zero that you would prefer to play. Uh, Vivio fighting close up one zero five five. Up to once a turn when you use a startup effect, this gains one five for the turn, so it goes to being a seven k with the counter. It goes to being probably nine five ish. Uh, and then when it's reversed in battle, your opponent may choose a character in your waiting room, put it on top of your deck. I never thought that was a very significant downside, and I think that this card is perfectly playable in that deck. I think it is playable, but you would play this before you played the Elder Stone. Yeah. Yeah. Does it require... Right. Both. It synergizes yeah. with the bomb better, too, if you're playing the bomb. Yeah. Yep. Uh, next card, Nerve Nakajima, 214k. Uh, she is notably melee trait. Uh, level X, so level assist to cards in front. Bond to the level 3 Vivio, ditch bond. And tap this to give a character 500 power. Now, the tap bit is super important here because it is a startup ability for free. Which means even though it's like only 500 power, in reality it's like 2,500 to the Vivio or 2,000 to the Vivio we just talked about. Yeah. And this is a point in favor of Vivio's level 3 of choice, because... Uh, I mean, you have a ditch bond, bond yeah. but I don't know. Like, I still appreciate being able to do it without playing my back rows. Yeah. It, anyway. It, uh, it runs is, you more stock, and does not fine. even out on hand. This is fine. 
Yeah, I think you play one or two of this. I haven't actually built the red deck. I think you're playing one or two regardless. This is a free way to trigger your startup things. And then, like, if you're playing the Vivio, you might, like, play just the two instead of maybe just one. Mm-hmm. Possibly. Yeah. All right. Uh, next card is Vivio, quick as lightning, 0, 0, 500. This card is a... There's a bunch it's of... Zero, zero, one the text. Counter. It's a 0 0 1k counter. Uh, and when this is placed from hand to stage, choose a melee character that gets 1 5 for the turn. And because they needed something else in order to have this have more than 0 power, this cannot side attack. Ooh, lads. Yeah, so this is the most obvious example of fake balancing I've ever seen. They just wanted to give a counter a come in play ability so you can use the 1 1 Sacred Hearts event as a toolbox. And in order to do that, they had to slap a completely... Is this... Like... I don't know if it's flavor or not, but... <clears throat> that's just like a really not good effect to have. It's um, not flavor. Actually, her being able to side attack would be flavor. Yeah, exactly. Um, I always... <laughs> she's supposed to be like a, a not very combative, uh, like... Reactive fighter or something, right? Yeah. And that's why she's got the counter sub theme. But yeah, this is a counter. You can play at level 0 to give something 1-5. Uh, this is viable in the green deck as well to give your Einhard extra power. And this is a counter that triggers your on-effect on, on startup things. So yeah, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Next card, uh, Sister Sen. It's it a melee. Uh, yes, yes it did. Uh, it's notable for having Sister trait. Anyway, next card. Rio, bright and energetic. When this attacks, mill two. If you've got at least one climax card there, you may discard a card. If you do, add a character from waiting room to hand. Uh, this is another decent mill effect. And it also is a... Um, you have to sacrifice this if you want to play a two-cost level one early. But um, we'll get to that later. It's a level zero bomb as well. We've already talked about why level zero bombs are less good now in the green video. You can go watch that if you want. But um, this one's still playable. long story short, level zero bombs are a little less good than they are, um, and yeah, it's it's fine. All right, uh, let's see. Next card is um, Nov, remembering the past. Climax combo: pay one, put the top card of your deck to clock. Uh, what is what is remembering the past? This um, Nov has trainer. The other one does not. Oh no, this other one does. Which one didn't have a second trait? Oh, it was the Corona. Right. Um, when, uh, sorry, when Bond with Athlete is placed in the Climax Zone, I've forgotten what Climax that is. That is a split 2k one soul. Uh, you may search your deck for up to one Vivio Promise passed on. That is the 0, zero um runner. And one uh, Miura Rinaldi, that's the Salvage Brainstorm, and put them rested in separate slots on the stage, then shuffle your deck. So this is like a, a weird Ricky effect that requires you to play a split 2k, two, um, 2k, 1 soul. Ironically, this would be better as a 2k, 1 soul, because then you um, then it'd actually just be a Ricky effect in terms of overall cards, um, as opposed to what it is now. Uh, split souls I don't think you played it. are pretty medium. Um, and I don't think this plus is worth it when you have Castle's plusing options at level 1. Like, almost every other deck, I'm going to have to pass. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. I think it's actually mm -hmm. just bad. Even if you get out um, a desirable card and a <clears throat> somewhat desirable card. Alright. Next card, Yumina, wishing to becoming a... Well, wishing to... What, what is my English today? Wishing to become a sports doctor. 101k... When this is placed from hand to stage, look at two cards from the top of your deck, add one to hand, put the rest in the waiting room, then discard a card. So it's like a draw drop from the top two cards of your deck. When this is placed from hand to stage, choose another character. That character gains 2k for the turn, which is quite a bit. Uh, I don't know why we didn't skip this card. It is off trade and not good. Oh, um, I didn't even notice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like if it, it was does... on trade, it would be a bit better. Yeah, if it was on trade, I think it'd actually be like pretty decent you um get a draw drop and you get the 2k but since there's so much trade reliance in this set like the brainstorms and everything this is no longer a particularly strong card even if it is a discard out um even if it is kind of mill so yeah it's a 2k counter for free 
All right, uh, super transform time, Rio is a 2k counter to one of your melee traits. Super important in the Vivio deck, I think you play three. Uh, important in any deck that wants to wall up at level one, so that's all of the uh, Fuka confronting Rene and Rene confronting Fuka decks, as well as just the red deck in general, even if it's not running heavy on Vivios. But um, yeah, important card. You play quite a number in most decks that want to wall. You probably play them in like the um the decks that don't want to wall at level one, but want to wall at level two. Mm-hmm. Uh, playable plus. Yeah. Easy. Uh, Mikaya Chevelle. Assist, all your characters in front gain 500 power, and Brainstorm, pay one, don't, no taps needed. Uh, mill four, for every climax, salvage a card, discard a card. So salvage a character, discard a character. It's, card. it's a spammable salvage Brainstorm. These are generally fine, if you need them. Because all of the, like, VVOs and stuff are limited to once a turn, you can't use this multiple times to give them ridiculous amounts of power. I don't think you have room to play this, I don't think it's particularly good anyway. Some of are, minus. are another card that have, have fallen to the wayside. Yeah. Next card, Mikaya, Master of Iaido. Uh, 2 1 2 5. Uh, 2 5 counter. And when you use the backup of this, you may pay 2. If you do, do your opponent more damage. I too enjoy Sengoku Basara. It's uh, cute. I don't think it's good. You have a sack, um, an anti change sack counter in blue that you'd rather be running. I mean, so, this is just a meme on Beevil, right? Yeah, this is a silly card. I don't think you play it. Um, I, I'm happy to give it like a, a playable minus rating because it's still a I counter. I think it's still just niche. It's just like meme. Yeah, sure. Uh, did we skip this next card? No. no we'll All right, Vivio, Knight, and Romantic. 2165. Uh, let's see. It is. When this is placed from hand to stage, you may discard a climax. If you do, add melee character to hand. Yeah, whatever. And it's an anti-change bomb. So, when this is reversed, if the level of the battle opponent is higher than your opponent's level, you may reverse that character. This is tragically terrible against Vivio. Uh, not Vivio, against um, Fuka specifically. Huh. But um, other than that, it's fine, I guess, in the red deck, if you don't want to splash out. Yeah, if you don't want to splash out, this is fine. It's like a playable card. Yeah. Time to skip cards. Um, I really should not have skipped Corona, because Corona is your um, is one of your free startup effects. But whatever. What do we skip um, to? Fifty-eight. Sure. Uh, we skip a whole bunch of cards here because there's a lot of vanillas and stuff and some mediocre four um zero zero four Ks, uh, some traitless crap, um, and a one zero of not as good as the video we talked about. 58. 116k Novina Suit. This ability activates up to once a turn. When you use a startup ability, this gains X, where X is 500 times the number of your melee characters, and it is a hand on core. Being 116k kind of sucks, but being a 1185, if you have the appropriate um, counters or abilities, is significantly better. I still don't think that means you play this card, but it's certainly a consideration if that's the sort of deck you're trying to run. Yeah. Like, if you go this. You may mm. want to play four counters. That's. I, I don't feel like you want to jam this, honestly. Playable minus. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but certainly like certainly not a ridiculously bad card like what we've been skipping. Uh, but like I said, there was a zero zero support we shouldn't have skipped because it taps for free. But anyway, moving on. Um, you're, um actually, I, I do want to say something else. There is something you can do. You can just play nothing but costless one zeros, and every turn you can have your um you can have your standby um startup ability be a brainstorm. And you're only getting two stock a turn, but you're probably killing their field, and you're probably salvaging back counters and stuff. So that's that's the thing you can do. All right, next card, uh, Mura, strong striker, two one seven five. Uh, when this is placed from hand to stage, if you have four more other melee characters, you may heal. Um, wait, no, you, no, 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 you may put the top card of your library in stock. Sorry, misreading things. So this becomes two zero, and up to once a turn, when you use a start ability, this gains X power. X is five hundred times the number of your other melee characters. It joins the list of everything else in the deck, apparently. Mm -hmm. uh, it's probably just playable. Playable minus. Not particularly interesting. It's okay. <clears throat> it's, it's fine. Yep. Next card. Uh, did we do 60? Yeah. Yep. 
right. Um, so to two two um two two support. Why did why did I leave this in? I don't know. Why did you leave this in? <laughs> why did you leave this in? Let's <laughs> this card. <laughs> I must have missed this. Ugh, that's terrible. All right, Rio Wesley. So two two six five. Uh, if there are three or fewer Climax cards in your opponent's waiting room, this gets neg one level in hand. When you play this from your hand, um, okay, so it's a one-two if your opponent has three or less Climaxes, which is, like, that's more common than I thought it was, so that's fair enough. When you play this from your hand, you may choose one of your Rio, Bright and Energetic, which is the bomb, level zero bomb, and put it in the waiting room. If you do, you may play this with zero cost. If all your characters are melee, this gains 3k power. I mean, I like 10952 souls. I don't know. <laughs> Better than action, bastard. Yeah. <laughs> you, have to, like, you have to neg one, though. That is a problem. Uh, I, I do think this card has some potential. I think it's really fat, and that's like. It's niche. Fine. I mean, it's just like a hilarious niche, but it's niche. I'm very, very sorry if you attack into go choose with this, but um, that's that's your business, not mine. Uh, this is like a a niche card, I think. Yep, right. niche is Start right. Start safe. Three, three. Uh, choose one of your uh, level heroes. That character gains two K power and the ability. When this attacks, you may deal five damage to your opponent. I mean, I like high rolling, but I would only play one, even if I was trying to high roll. So note that this is a May ability in case you want to pay three stock and do nothing. Note that you can oh, you stack get the, you get the, the, power. the burns from Mira in any order you want. So if you're going for the maximum high roll, you definitely just burn one first because you're high rolling. Nah. <laughs> I'm mean, sure. Right. <laughs> you're not doing it because it's optimal. You're doing it because you're high rolling. No, no, what you do is you play the, um... Although, I actually, play... I actually think as, as a floor, it's probably better to do it in that order anyways, because, like, if the burn one sticks and then they cancel, depending on where they cancel, you, like... No, no, that doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't matter. Just high roll. No, but what you Just actually high roll. do is you play the runner, you mill a climax, you replace the top card of their deck with... <laughs> the, the climax on top of their deck gets replaced with a random card, and then they eat the five, and then they never want to play against you again. I mean, it's because you're maximum high rolling. That's just what you're doing. You're living the dream. This this card is not good, but you're you're going for the high roll. <laughs> All right, uh, this card is like niche. No, it's, it's a bad. Minus. It's a bad. Don't play this. Really? Don't play uh, this. Yeah, right. Uh, as much as I love niche high rolling, minus. no, no, no. Niche no, no, no. minus. I'm, and I'm, and niche, I'm the only person minus. saying good things about it. No, no, no. All right, next card, Sacred oh, this Heart. Funny. Um, I don't know about the continuity between Madoka and um, not Madoka, Nanoha and Vivid. Apparently, Nanoha but... and Comfort now too. God damn it, man. <laughs> <laughs> so what if you have it's a one one event if you have no vvo you can't play this from hand choose up to two cards with backup in your waiting room add them to your hand and ditch a card give one of your characters one five till the end of your opponent's turn um red is starting to take blue stuff now it's starting to anyway i mean it's like slightly better than oh like i didn't actually pendant, right? i never noticed the cross turn power thing oh that's yeah okay. I, I actually <laughs> only thought it was just getting backups which was already pretty good because, you know, you want backups um, in this yeah. deck. Basically, you're turning two cards in your hand into action cards. Uh, worth playing, worth paying one cost for, usually, especially if you get some value out of the 1-5 power. If you don't, then you're still turning your card hand into action, and your opponent's attack phase becomes extremely awkward unless they have bombs. So, yeah. Uh, playable. I guess, or yeah. niche, I suppose, since it's only in the Vivio deck. And then we're on to Climaxes. Anyway, uh, we're moving quickly through these cards. We've got a bunch of Renee cards to go through, and she's got two decks, so we'll see you for blue soon. 